what up youtube mandy hops here how are you i am hot um it's also so hot that my phone um thing that i normally mount to do these videos uh broke off and melted because it's las vegas and i haven't had air conditioning in about a week i really haven't um and I do want to speak to that, and I will, and I I want to speak to me in Boston, John. Um, so today I wanted a barbecue, and it cost me a lot of money uh, to get, like, nothing. To get one steak, it was like a, it was, it was like a $7.84 steak. That was going to slip between two people. I already had some baked potatoes. I uh, already had a can of beans, and I got um, some corn for, like, $1.50. And I got some beer because I was going to be outside because it's actually colder outside. My air conditioning broke. For those of you that don't know, like, share, subscribe, hey, welcome to my channel um, in Vegas. And it's not going to be, I'm really going to go like two weeks without air conditioning. Now, technically, technically, after two days, you don't have to pay rent in this state of Las Vegas. You don't. You don't. Uh, if they don't have air conditioning. But let me tell you something. Um, even though my landlord's in Denver right now at a beer convention living his best life, let me also tell you this. Like, he's put up with a lot of shit for me when I was rowdier. I am over that. Um, at the end of the day, even though we're opposites, we're both pretty much there for each other. Like, when shit gets serious. And I'm not going to do him like that on the rent. I could do that and then he could, what, threaten to kick me out and I could hold myself up for 30 days. But, like, I don't want to do that to somebody that's been nicer to me than my own family. No offense, you guys, my family watching. But, like, they would put me up like that. And so I'm going to deal with it. I got fans and stuff. If I was doing a little better or if it was, like, a year ago, I would just be in a hotel. Like, literally. Um, and then there's, like, a lot of hackation and stuff. I do have a friend in town. Shout out, Bex. But, like, I, um, it's hard. And the heat is making me more grumpy and mean, for sure. Okay? Like, it's, like, 88 degrees inside. You know? It's, like, everybody's, like, well, at least it's only 100 degrees, says people in the desert. And this dude cuts me one hell of a deal. He doesn't charge me for electric. He lets me use his Netflix. Like, I'm not going to go and complain. And here's the thing. Up until, except for the time he was out of town, you know, um, at this convention, which I want him to live his best life, except for that time, he was literally living in the same heat I was. It's not like he was in a hotel and I was living in the heat. He was living in the heat, too. Like, we're both going through it, you know? Like... Las Vegas is an extensive place to live and shit happens. And anyway, I know this homeless dude. He's pretty cool. He normally doesn't come this far down. But anyway, me and Boston got into it. And um, I did cut it. I cut it loose a little bit. Because, first of all, he left my car the other day. And he left my house in a tizzy. And he always says, like, well, we'll get this. I'll pay it back. I'll pay it back. It's kind of like when I was a bartender server. It's like, I'll make it back. But then I don't. So I have so many charges on my credit card. I wouldn't if I was solo. And he hasn't paid back. I don't think he's, like, intentionally using me or being a dick at all. I don't. I'm smarter than that. That being said, it doesn't matter. Like, he doesn't have that Midwest, like... Let me just go out there and fight and, like, do everything I can for my girl type shit. Like, none of these guys got it. So, I'm fine being with none of these guys at all. As my buddy, the classy Hoosier, check him out on Instagram, says, Boston is a professional couch surfer. And he is. And so were some other people. Like, the person that taught me how to make my YouTube channel was a professional couch surfer. That's what he does. That's what he does. He's not a mean guy. He cleans up after himself. He's nice. He doesn't actually eat a lot. You'd think he would by looking at him, but he doesn't. And, like, he's a good guy. 
But I don't know if he just never had a real dad around or somebody to teach him how to be a man. And that's unfortunate because I did have a real dad around. And they taught me how to be a man. Man Diesel. And at the end of the day, I'm going to make my shit work. I don't need a, a professional couch surfer or a boyfriend or a husband or anybody to help me pay my bills. No matter how down and out I am, like I'm better off on my own. And it's actually, and I hate to say this because I do love Boston and I did want to marry him, but like, I cannot let a guy bring me down. Like, it's enough to pull my own weight. And if you're a man and you're not helping me pull my weight, I am old fashioned like that. I'm old fashioned like that. If you can't pay my bills, fix my car, fix my sink, I love you. We can go grab a beer. On the corner bar or something like that. If you ever got money to pay for it. But I ain't uh. I can't keep us both afloat. Or say you'll make it. Because guess what. I have bills that are due. Where Boston doesn't. Boston always keeps saying. Make it official on social media. Make it official. What do you want me to make official? Everything in my life is official on social media. Before I even knew you existed in life. So Boston. If this is what you want me. To make official. Then let's make it official. Um, I can't carry you. Take these broken wings and learn to fly again. I don't know what to tell you, bro. And I don't know, nobody else knows what to tell you. And that's why when you call people, nobody wants to help you. The difference between me and you is you have a ton of friends out here. You've been out here for six years. You know people and you got money on the books. But you ain't got shit. I just don't have shit. So... Tap into your shit is what I would recommend you do at this point in time. Tap in to the shit you do have. And I wish you the best and I love you. But I am tapped out between that and the air conditioner. And I'm going to go get some gas. And uh, because literally like I'm sitting like an hour of my day like sitting in my car because it's so hot. <laughs> and I don't have enough money to rent a room. Because I have to tap into my shit. And at the end of the day, I'm very smart about money. I spent two out of four years not even working. Which was, in hindsight, stupid. But I could handle it. You know why? Because I'm smart about stuff. And I'm independent. And even if I did need Boston for money, I still wouldn't do it. I needed Boston because I loved him. But when shit got hard, he got a little flaky. He should have had his work too. Asked to work every day. You should have been, hey, I know like nine motherfuckers on the corner that work at this Mexican place that do uh, fucking, um, you know, maintenance on the side. Let me have them come through and fix this thing. That sounds shitty. If, if, if you're, but if you're not, like you realize that is fucking Vegas. Fucking get some dude in here to help us fucking fix my shit because you can't or you don't. Either way, it's just as bad. Get some handyman in here. Fucking step it up. Work every day. Work a little harder. Get your money off the books. Off the streets. Whatever. You built this block. We built this city. He said he built this block. He built this block. What block, motherfucker? You're not even allowed inside the casino half the time. Because you stole a fucking casino ticket and you jerked off in the bathroom. Yeah, I said it. You wanted me to make it official on social media? Here we go, Boston. I mean, you know, if I was a dude, I'd probably jerk off in a bathroom too. But right now, I'm going to get me something to eat drink because I can't even barbecue. I had shit set up to barbecue, and I will, and it'll be nice outside, but I can't tonight. It ruined my whole vibe. Everybody from St. Louis knows barbecuing is a vibe. So I'm going to go get tacos somewhere and spend the night out in the town. And I don't know what I'm going to do. But um, I'll keep you guys posted. Love you. Bye. Is that official enough, Boston? Like.